All right, guys, we're here tonight, and we filmed the two area basketball games that are at, at home in the playoffs. I was at Aquinas there in the first round of the state playoffs, and Zach he went and filmed Westside there in the second round of the playoffs. Um, we're just kind of gonna kind of run over the games, give you our analysis real quick, and uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into Westside game. Yeah. Uh, so, like you said, Westside was at home. They hosted Blakely County, and uh, the very beginning of the game, Westside started off really slow. It looked like they just weren't ready to play or they were nervous. Some, something was wrong. Um, Blakely County, on the other hand, started off really hot. They started off on an 8-0 run and eventually ended the first quarter 22-7 to in Blakely County's uh, favor. So they on defense, they stopped Westside. Offense, they scored when they wanted to. Just not, not a good first quarter for Westside. However, the second and third quarter, Westside would just fight back the whole time. Eventually, ended the third quarter down only by two points. So it was, it was a good second and third quarter for Westside. In the fourth quarter, they came out and hit back-to-back -back shots to take a one-point lead. And then, once again, Blakely County kind of had their way for a little bit. So Westside had to fight back. And with 12 seconds left, Westside hit a shot at the top of the key to give them a one-point lead. It was in 60-61. to 61. And it looked to me like they were, going to, they were going to win the game. I thought they fought back the whole game and... Ended up winning it, but Blakely County inbounded the ball, gave it to uh, Spud Taylor, and he, he drove the, the length of the court and uh, drew a foul and knocked down both his free throws. And those two free throws were important because Westside missed most of their free throws all night long. They uh, they weren't really good from the free throw line, whereas Blakely County, they, they hit almost all their free throws. They shot really well from the free throw line. And those two were just, just kind of, they put the stamp on the game. They... They ended up winning the game close of those free throws, 62-61. to 61. So Westside did not win. They played a great game, but they, they didn't hit their free throws. That was the story of the game. And this in the second round of the, the state playoffs, uh, you can't make mistakes like that. You have to better hit your free throws as a team. It wasn't a one man who missed them. It was the whole team that just didn't really hit them. Frank Booker ended the night with 23 points. and He, I mean, he, played, he played a good game, but they were double teaming him, trying to trap him the whole time. And he fouled out with seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. And there, were, there was a great moment at that time because when he fouled out, he, uh, he got his team together. And I don't know what he said to him, but that was impressive. You still led even when you're out of the game. So that, that, was, that was nice to see. Uh, DeMario Beck, he ended the game with, uh, for Blakely County with 24 points. And Spud Taylor, he had 25 points. He was five for nine from behind the three-point arc. So he had, he had a good night yeah. shooting. Um, West Side, so West Side lost. It wasn't, it wasn't the best of games for them. They fought back, just couldn't quite finish it. Hate to see them lose, but they had a great season. Won the region, met, you know, kept home, home advantage throughout the second round. So it was a good season. Sorry to see you lose them. Yeah, I was, uh, I was following your tweets a little bit when I could while I was filming, and I saw they were down twenty-two seven in the first quarter, and I, you know, I was like, I was shocked. I thought for sure, you know, what side was going to roll mm -hmm. and get on to the next round. But you know, I, I kept following you, you throughout the game and. So they came back, and uh, I'm sure for anybody there, anybody following the tweets, you know, there was a, it was an impressive showing, a good yeah. game to uh, to have, have been at. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, Bluffy County, they, they made the the championship last year, right? Yeah, they did. They lost to to Laney in the state championship, so it's not a they didn't lose to a, a bad team, right? A really good right. team. Yeah, nothing nothing to uh, hang your hat on there, Westside. So uh, sorry you guys lost. We hate it for you, but uh, use this for uh, for motivation for next year and come out stronger. Yeah. Um, and so now we'll jump right into the Aquinas game. And uh, in, the, in the first half, first quarter, second quarter, um, it was kind of a, a sloppy game. Um, it wasn't a typical West Side game. I mean, a uh, Aquinas game. Ahmed Hill, um, you know, he, he was having a tough time shooting him and Michael Scott both. Um, and, and they just struggled. And, and they also, they got in foul trouble. Um, both of them had three fouls in the first quarter. Um, Ahmed actually sat out most of the second quarter because of foul trouble. But they went in, they went in halftime. They were up 23 to 19. And whatever took place at halftime, um, it must have worked because they came out and kind of kind of caught their stride. Then they, they went up by, by 13 points, and from then on, that kind of just set the tone. Um, they stayed ahead. Uh, uh, Lake, Lakeview, actually, they, they, tried to, they tried to get back in there, but um, Ahmed caught fire. Um, he had you know, several threes in the third and fourth quarters, and uh, you know, Michael Scott does what he does. He, he got the ball around everybody, made a few shots himself. So they went on to win. They won 58-49, and they'll go on to the second round of the playoffs, and they will keep home advantage. But uh, like, like I said, um, 
uh, you know, they started out kind of sloppy, but but picked it up, and it was good to see that um, because you, you know most time you watch Aquinas, they come out you know fight on fire, you know Ahmed's hitting threes, dunking the ball over the place, it, it, and it wasn't a typical Aquinas game. You know Ahmed only had one dunk. You know first first few you know first two quarters he didn't hit a lot of a lot of shots, but they didn't crumble. Um, you know they they stuck to the game plan, they uh, they worked through it, and uh, wound up with the victory. So it's nice to see them you know not fall apart. To, to keep their composure. And, that's and that's pretty through. impressive, too. Oh, yeah. uh, both those guys had three fouls in the first quarter yeah. and didn't foul out. Yeah, I, I don't even think that either one of them got another foul the rest of the game. That's yeah, that's, that's great right there. Because unless you're two leaders on the on the team, oh, yeah. if they foul out, it's it's hard for Aquinas to, right, to right. fight back for that. That's good. Yep. So uh, Ahmed actually wound up finishing with 29. He had a good second that's half. Good. Um, uh, Michael Scott had eight, but like I said, he had a lot of assists and things like that. And then also Montgomery for Lakeview finished with 18 points, so he had a good game himself. And uh, you know Lakeview they tried to they tried to uh, to get it back, but Aquinas was too strong for him. So congratulations Aquinas. Um, you know stay tuned to us. We will let you know who they play next and when they play, uh, things like that, and we'll keep you updated on everything. So Zach, if you don't have anything else, that's all I got. Alrighty, guys, we appreciate you watching, and we'll see you soon.